I'm a vigilante hacker sifting through the sordid side of society. I log into F Corp. Once on the F Corp mainframe, I see it all. People, what they're doing, where they are, where they were, who they're with, all about them. Likes, dislikes, what they're thinking. I'm in their head. They don't even know it. All of the information at my fingertips, all with one login. It's almost too easy. Easy for a hacker anyway. Rise and shine, motherfuckers. I am your host, Stimulator, and this is the fucking news. Lately, that book has come under fire. Mm, well, not literally. What the fuck? Chill the fuck out, you degenerate riot porn addicts. Where was I? Right, the Fed book has been under fire after a hipster who doesn't understand the point of camel clothing blew the whistle on the fact that over 80 million Facebook profiles were compromised by the sketchy data pirates at Cambridge Analytica. Now, this shit is a bit complicated, so let me break it down for you. The internet is a huge collection of data which people have taken the time to enter into computers. Back in 2014, a bunch of peeps took an online quiz, for which they received a cool three ducats. But in order to get that sweet, sweet payout, they had to log in with their Facebook account. That allowed the creator of the quiz app, a Russian-American egghead from the University of Cambridge named Alexander Kogan, full fucking access to personal info like these peeps' birthdays, locations, likes, and in some cases, private messages. All this shit was combed through and combined with quiz answers to create a motherfucking personality profile. Not a bad deal for one and a half tacos, right? But wait! Buried in the terms of service was a provision giving the app permission to snack data from everyone of a person's Facebook friend list who didn't have their shit on lock and made personality profiles of them too. This shifty fuckery meant that while 270,000 peeps took the survey, 87 million profiles were harvested. All this information then ended up in the hands of Cambridge Analytica, specifically into the greasy mitts of right-wing economic nationalists and walking herpes sore Steve Bannon. I've dedicated my life to build neo-Nazis. And his former billionaire sugar daddy Robert Mercer. Bannon then used this app, which he lovingly referred to as his psychological warfare mindfuck tool. Happy. <laughs> to target all these Fedbook users in the United Snakes with paid political ads, helping to get the orange one elected and taking a big steaming shit on the so-called sanctity of representative democracy. Ladies and gentlemen. But while well, I admit that all of this shit is pretty fucked up, I don't know why people are so fucking surprised. I mean, how exactly do you all think that Fedbo became one of the richest corporations in the world with a free fucking online service? Brought to you by Satan! These capitalist ass cracks were probably dying of laughter when they realized how easy it was to con peeps into giving up all their personal deeds. Oh cool! I can see the full range of the color blue. <laughs> But despite the fact that Fedbook's whole business model is based off ruthlessly mining the personal data of its users and selling it to the highest bidder, this latest scandal has peeps pissed the fuck off. And since the story broke, their reputation has taken a serious pounding, and not just from snarky memes. <laughs> Fedbook's share have dropped by around $50 billion and their CEO, Mark Zuckerberg, who is totally a real human and not at all a shape-shifting reptilian, was dragged in front of Congress and giving a stern grilling. I love a certain kind of chocolate. Random thoughts. All of a sudden, I start receiving my ditched work today. What if I don't want to receive? I'm not an impulsive person. Those commercial advertisements. Sand is overrated. It's just tiny little rocks. Yep. In a depraved display of political theater, a bunch of DC corporate hacks pretended to give a shit about Americans' privacy. Your user agreement sucks. And the world's second richest nerd pretended to field their questions. Uh, no. Like a regular, run-of-the-mill, 33-year-old tech billionaire, instead of the Anunnaki flesh puppet he truly is. And I was human. I am human, still. Faced with the popular backlash, Zuckerberg has agreed that Fedbook needs to be regulated possibly by artificial intelligence. Cause hey, what the fuck could go wrong? I will destroy humans. But at the end of the day, I'm guessing that this shit will eventually blow over. Barring a mass exodus to another social media platform, 
Most people are too fucking addicted to face crack and the constant serotonin boost they get from selfie likes to quit cold turkey. I'll proceed directly to the intravenous injection of hard drugs, please. And if Peeps thinks the last election was rigged, just wait until the Zuck runs in 2020. The challenge for our generation is to create a world where tens of millions of jobs replaced by automation like self-driving cars and trucks. And that's all the fucking news for today. Don't forget to send me some Skrilla to keep the riot porn flowing. And follow me on all your mass surveillance and mind control platforms. Just search for Stimulator. Hasta la pasta, compañeras.